Welcome back to Let's Play Ghost of a Tale. I'm Burning Dog Face, and this is a rat's ass. God damn it! No! No, I'm keeping it! That's the intro to the episode! Mmm! <laughs> Ranger's hood, the hood of a ranger. The cloth of a ranger's hood is treated with wax to protect against the driving uh, the driving rain. Yeah, that is the term for that. Near. Okay, uh, okay, all of my stats are really skewed right now. Just a moment. Okay, so let me see. Fuck! I'm not sure what the yellow ones mean. I mean, green is pretty straightforward, but I don't know what the yellow ones mean. Oh, what's this? Oh. Actually, uh, let me take a look at that book. Here it is. Hood, mask, tunic, belt, boots. I guess I'm missing the belt. I'm wondering if I can use that, uh... I wonder if, I all, if the guards also ignore me in this one, because, you know, the, the, the guards are under strict orders to let rat rangers go over their business unhindered. Okay. I made it morning, by the way. I still think they pulled the camera way back to make uh, Tyler look even smaller here. Then again. Sup, my good man. Oh, Scow! Just the buck I needed to see! Your timing couldn't be better! Uh... Something amusing. Uh Well that would be this one. No, I'm not gonna do that again. No no no. Oh Christ, is this the worst idea I've ever had? Does he know their names is the important thing. Does he know those are the thieves that he's currently got locked up in his uh, cell? I wrote that song! Uh, now then, sir, I'm afraid the jailer is murdered. I didn't notice a knife, but... The 
yes. Commander takes a sheet of paper and his quill pen, beginning to write. After signing his name, he folds the paper into thirds and seals it with wax before passing it to you. Uh, thank you, sir. Oh. Remember, not necessarily a bad thing if you're a rat. Let's not judge. In the dark hole. of uh Ugh! oh wait I may have just taken a screenshot because I wanted to share the words of someone pardon me a moment you would do the same thing if you had the chance Commander takes the itinerary and, holding it at arm's length, studies it with an almost theatrical intensity. Is there a problem, sir? Gadwell. I was stationed in Gadwell, oh, it must be 15 years ago now. A charming fishing port. You should really, you really should visit sometime. Tough place for the Red Paw now, though. Uh, yes, I have read this one. With a wink and a flourish of his quill pen, the commander signs the document. My autograph for a fan. Leave this with me, Scow. I'll make sure it reaches the transport's captain. Oh, uh... 
You know, for the record, I didn't think his song was entirely bad. Except when he missed the uh, the notes and the uh, the music was actually kind of sweet. Although, in fairness, the thing that missed the notes sounded like a recorder, not a liar. I think it's a stringed instrument, isn't it? That vertical thing kind of looks like a mini a cross between a a lute and a harp. Choice of songs, go. You're dismissed. Okay, time to make a goddamn beeline for Rolo. I want the camera facing this way. Huh. You would have had to sprint all entirely across the room for the commander to be able to close the door. I wonder if the armor will look better. I've noticed that seemingly everyone has the same hole in the chest plate. So I wonder if there's going to be like a sleeker model or something. Commander's orders for the smithy. Orders from the commander to be delivered to the blacksmith. Orders are sealed with wax, bearing the stamp of the wax of the garrison commander. Incidentally, I thought that I was going to have to take the signature off of that and put it in the book. I don't know, get gusto to, uh, to write it. Wait, where am I going? I got distracted. Where does that go? Uh... Huh. Alright. I don't remember. I'll have to check it out. Oh no! Hello, Rolo. Smithy, I have orders for you from the commander. He said you'd know what to do with them? I'd like to tell him what to do with them. <laughs> The blacksmith takes the papers, breaks the seal, and reads. Alright, so I can either work on your armor or teach you about those spider traps. Your choice. What can you do for my armor? No, no, that's fine. My sticks will do the job for me. I will have to rely on my eyes, otherwise it's just gonna be like the fucking the mist thing again, isn't it? You strip off your armor and give it to the smithy. Oh, I'm nude. Six hours then and not before. Oh. Um, okay, first things first, put my goddamn clothes back on. I will not be bugging him about my armor, uh, fine, fine, here. Where is the last one? Thank you, no. It's not here. This does not surprise me, overly. Oh, that's the barracks! It, oh. Weird. 
weird. Oh wait, no, that's the wrong. That's yeah, that's the opposite of what I wanted to do there. Well, it's technically the next day. Let's go see if we can talk to that. Uh, I cannot talk to that guy yet. Fine. Duh. I just handed a guy my armor. What do I need to do? Oh, I can get back there, I think. Hi. Bye. Run, rodent, run! Oh, right. And it's to this side. I'm running! Oh, there's no barrel down here. Shit! Well, I can't talk to them. I don't want to get them involved. Ah! Save the last drops of run juice. Defeated! <sighs> Did quench at last that dire flame? Hmm. That's where that other bridge go. Oh shit. Oh god. Did you see that? Let's see if he does it again. Holy mother, this time it was the wall! He never, ever turns around, so, uh... You've gotten too used to just avoiding guards running past them to barrels, or, uh... You know, being Private Scow. God damn it! Fine, try passing your way over here, ass. Look at him jiggle. He's jiggling aggressively at me. Fine, what happens if I do go in the water? Instant death. In this universe, mice are water soluble. I've got a jar of mucus. Is that the last one? Yes. Well, fuck. Oh, okay. That works. Problem solved. Hey guys, here's that book you needed, and I don't even have the armor this time. Isn't that great? Like in a hat, brother. Very fancy. Thank you! Finally! Someone who appreciates high fashion. Please, now will you tell me what you know about Mera? Do you know why Mera and I were called before the Baron? Oh, there's the timer. Since Great Burham, the Red Paws are rounding up any mouse considered a threat. 
Great Burham, a minor garrison of the Red Paw, situated in northern Meridia. The uh, fortress in, at Great Burham was recently razed to the ground during a protest of the local mouse population. The protest was sparked by the death in custody of a mouse arrested for insulting a member of the Rat Guard. It later emerged that this mouse's name was Myar as Myarsh, and that far from insulting the guard, he was simply stating for the record his name. Oh, I see. The fire was blamed on the Sons of Asper and used as justification to round up any mouse suspected of sympathizing with their cause. Oh no, topical! Oh, she's with the rebels. Interesting. Of course she is! Her son died because of the red paw. So we were called before the Baron because she's a rebel. And the Baron tried to confirm it by asking her to sing the song talking about how shitty mice are. Council of Asper. The founding father of Miradia, Asper was a great orator, renowned for its ability to turn discord into harmony with his words. It was Asper who negotiated Miradia's peaceful transition from monarchy to republic, and later established a great council, on which sat as equals a, represented, a representative of each creature capable of thought and reason. The council still spit... Uh, sits? Sorry. I was, think I was thinking to myself, it's weird that they seem to be avoiding the word species in this game. Uh, the council still sits, and still bears, unnecessary apostrophe, Asper's name. Though, since the War of the Green Flame, his kind are not permitted to attend. Oh. It is for this reason the mice of the northern provinces have adopted his name for their uprising. Until our voices are heard is their motto. I'm not sure I've actually played this one before. Um... Ruined! Jade is green, if you're not familiar.
thousand years, this is how our kind are still thought of. Then why? Yeah, I have read that one. Just checking. What's a hoy? Good luck, both of you. May the road rise to meet your feet. Always. Mmm! <laughs> I wonder what happens if I say, uh... Will I see you again? Well, probably not, but, you know. Fare thee well, guys. It's been real. Okay. The Burning of the Red Paw. Burn the banners of the Red Paw. He burned 13 banners and struck a blow for liberty. I was just doing it because, you know, sticking it to the man. Now I'm being rewarded for it, and that's great. But uh, I've been running for quite a while since the timer went, so... I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you in the next episode of Let's Play Ghost of a Tale, when hopefully I can make it through that door. Later. Yeah, get you get back to the uh, elevator, you see. Bye!